Fermentation lowers pH in the cells by producing lactic acid and carbon dioxide. This negative cascade of fermentation, lactic acid production, elevated CO2, along with changes in DNA and RNA, can potentially lead to cell division, which is a defining feature of cancer. An environment that is acidic produces optimal conditions in which cancer cells can flourish. Hey everyone, this is Holly Knutson. I'm a functional health practitioner from Utah, and today I would like to continue my cancer series and talk about exercise with oxygen therapy to prevent cancer. Exercise is a non-negotiable if you want good health. We all know that. What if I told you you could exponentially enhance the benefits you're already getting from your exercise routine? Oxygen is without a doubt our most essential nutrient. If you don't believe me, hold your breath for a minute right now. We can survive without food for three weeks, without water for three days, but oxygen a mere three minutes. Now I want to give you some tips on how to exercise with oxygen therapy to prevent cancer and other chronic diseases. What is exercise with oxygen therapy? Well, I'm going to refer to it as EWOT now because it's a lot easier, but it's a type of fitness therapy pioneered by Manfred von Arden that uses oxygen to enhance the therapeutic effects of exercise. It combines two fundamental aspects of health, oxygen and exercise. Otto Warburg was a German scientist who was renowned for discovering the root cause of cancer. I'm sure most of you have heard of him. The his discoveries were pivotal in determining how cancer develops in the human body. In fact, he was awarded two no well, he was awarded one Nobel Prize in 1931 and would have been awarded another one in 1943. However, the Nazis prevented him from actually receiving the second award. Warburg earned these honorable distinctions by discovering that all cancers share a common metabolic link, and that is, they cannot thrive in an oxygen-rich environment. When deprived of oxygen, healthy cells function differently, losing their ability to convert glucose into energy. Because of this inability, cells must then resort to an inferior cellular respiration process called fermentation. Fermentation lowers pH in the cells by producing lactic acid and carbon dioxide. This negative cascade of fermentation, lactic acid production, elevated CO2, along with changes in DNA and RNA, can potentially lead to cell division, which is a defining feature of cancer. An environment that is acidic produces optimal conditions in which cancer cells can flourish. Exercising with oxygen floods the bloodstream with life-giving oxygen. It reduces inflammation, boosts immune function, and expands the tiny capillaries, all of which lead to beneficial changes in circulation. Conversely, Inadequate oxygen levels promote inflammation in the tissues of the endothelium and restrict blood flow to the capillaries. As blood exits the heart, it flows through a complex network of arteries, culminating in the minuscule network of capillaries. If the cells are overloaded with glucose or inflammation is present, these capillaries become stressed. This stress negatively impacts blood flow leading to a cycle of even more stress and inflammation. This vicious cycle can be halted by increasing levels of oxygen in the blood, leading to better circulation and less inflammation in the capillaries. Capillaries swell when they are depleted of oxygen. This not only impedes circulation, but it curtails nutrient uptake into the tissues. And when cells don't receive adequate nutrition, they don't function optimally. Exercise is so important because it opens the arterioles in the venous system. When oxygen is administered during exercise, the capillary beds become perfused with oxygen, and this decreases the swelling and leads to a positive cycle of increased tissue oxygenation and reduced inflammation. The ultimate goal of EWOT is to keep these endothelial vessels permanently opened. 
Inflammation in these tiny blood vessels is implicated in virtually all disease states and is an underlying component in healing. If these um, little capillaries are swollen and inflamed, you can't heal. And this is because capillaries are instrumental in delivering oxygen and nutrients to all tissues and organs of the body. Interestingly, both stress and sugar decrease levels of oxygen in the blood. This is why it's so critical to eliminate sugar from your diet and find effective ways of dealing with stress. Now I want to um, share with you a list of conditions that respond favorably to EWOT. Peripheral neuropathy, systemic inflammation, asthma, angina, pulmonary emphysema, fatigue, cataracts and glaucoma, dizziness, arrhythmias, edema, hypertension, circulation disorders, heart disease rehabilitation, side effects of chemo and radiation. That's why it's such a great adjunct therapy um, to use in addition with conventional cancer therapies if that's your choice. And obesity. EWOT can be used while riding a stationary bike or walking on a treadmill or any piece of um, exercise equipment, stationary exercise equipment. You just need to get your heart rate above 100 beats per minute. An oxygen flow of about 8 to 10 liters a minute is required, and it's imperative the oxygen be 90 to 95 percent pure. You'll also need an oxygen mask. Although it's possible to use an oxygen tank, and that's what I use for w when I um, do direct IV ozone, it's generally prohibitive um, due to the amount of oxygen an EWOT session requires. You would be constantly refilling your tank, which isn't sustainable in terms of cost and effort. Approximately 10 liters of oxygen is used per minute during an EWOT session. This means that a 15 minute session would use 150 liters of oxygen. Many oxygen tanks only hold around 650 liters. So you can clearly see that using an oxygen tank doesn't make a lot of sense since you would be running to your oxygen supplier every week. And then you just wouldn't do it. High flow oxygen concentrators have improved significantly over the years and can now be used for EWOT. Concentrators deliver a steady flow of pure oxygen and produce up to 10 liters of oxygen per minute. They weigh approximately 60 pounds, are convenient to use, are quite affordable, and are energy efficient. While an oxygen concentrator does take up more space than an oxygen tank, they're generally really easy to transport because they have wheels. They can be used at home or in health clinics or spas. Okay, what does an EWOT training session entail? And if you can see the photo on the screen, that little blue device on the floor that's connected to the oxygen mask, that is the oxygen concentrator. The second hose coming from the concentrator is used to fill the large reservoir bag with oxygen. And that bag measures 72 inches tall and 48 inches wide. By using the reservoir bag, you are no longer limited by the output of oxygen from the concentrator. Instead, you can enjoy a steady stream of oxygen independent of your breathing rate. A 15-minute EWOT session will, will not only give you all the benefits of traditional exercise, but will saturate your bloodstream with health-promoting oxygen at the same time. So it's a very efficient way to exercise. EWOT is a fantastic way to supercharge each and every exercise session that you do. There's not a person on the planet that can't benefit from it. If you're interested in purchasing the EWOT system pictured, um, I'll provide a link below the video. You can also combine the benefits of EWOT with ozone and steam, and I'll put a link to my post that talks about that. In summary, exercise is vital for optimal health. Why not ramp up your exercise sessions with EWOT? You'll get all the conditioning effects of conventional exercise, but also increase circulation, oxygenation, and enhance your immune function. That's why it's so awesome for preventing disease. All you need is a piece of exercise equipment like a treadmill, rowing machine, stationary bike, or rebounder, along with an oxygen concentrator and a mask to wear over your mouth. You can actually even do it 
um, just by doing calisthenics like push-ups I mean obviously you, you don't want to go overboard with that but like squats and lunges and um, you know arm exercises and I encourage you to learn more about EWOT therapy if you or someone you know has cancer, especially if they've been treated with chemotherapy and radiation. Have you heard of EWOT? Would you like to learn more? Please leave a comment below this video. It helps everyone watching. Thank you.